Hello everyone, Technician775 here. Uh, today is January the 1st, 2013. Happy New Year's to everyone. Uh, we're going to be doing coffee in this segment here. Uh, one of my favorites is yeah, the Mellow Joy. Mellow Joy coffee, it's out of uh, Lafayette. It's an old brand that's been around for a while, uh, since 1936. Community's been around for a while, you know, and several have been around for a while. This is probably one of my favorites here. What we're going to do, make this real short and sample. <coughs> one of the things we are going to want uh, it's some comfort of some sort uh, if we do have emergency plus the necessities uh, my uh, lovely stepdaughter gave me a plaque that says uh, coffee is not a drug it's a vitamin and I kind of believe that um, and I do like my coffee so what we're gonna do here these are uh, 12 ounce packages and one pound packages will work this just, just fine if you notice these have the little button right there which actually let oxygen out or whatever the uh, smell out if you ever want a, a coffee rush go down to of uh, the store and grab the package like this, put your nose right up against this and just gently squeeze and you will smell the uh, the fresh ground coffee uh, aroma coming out of the uh, little hole right there. Pretty neat. Okay, that's just a little something for me. Alright, what we're going to do here, I've got a two gallon uh, uh, plastic bucket, okay, and three of these will fit in just like this, okay, and I've kind of fold the tops back just a little bit. One will go in upside down for the most part, okay, because the way it's stacked and one will go in on top just like that. Okay, and I'm going to take and put, oh, probably four oxygen absorbers in here. Okay, and uh, you'll see one, two, three, four, and I'll put them down on the side. Okay, and that's more than what we need, but we do have a lot of uh, room between the uh, packages of coffee. It's not like we're filling it full of rice or, or beans or something like that, you know, so and I'm going to take and put the lid on here, snap it, snap it all in place, okay? Um, <clears throat> and tomorrow I'll come back and check for the seal. Okay, now that I've got that, you know, done, uh, I want to bring up something else that's important, and I've brought this up in my other videos. Uh, some way to heat up water. Okay, again, uh, the stove, the tea kettle, okay, to heat up water, and if you have one of the old drip pots like this, this is an old timey uh, drip pot. They use them for years down in South Louisiana. Um, you put your grinds in there, set this up, get your tea kettle full of water, you pour your water on top and it drips through the coffee down to the bottom and when it's finished dripping, coffee is ready. Really neat, really simple and what you can do if you want to, you can take just a pot and put it on here, warm up the water and set this inside the pot, keeps it warm. Uh, without the coffee getting cold in case you want some a little bit later on. Also too, you have the percolator. Uh, percolators will work just fine. They're pretty simple. Uh, you put your uh, coffee, uh, your water in there, your coffee grinds, put this on top, put this right here, turn the water on. When it finishes percolating, you've got coffee. Again, you can put in a pot right here with some water in it, warm the water up and set this in there. It keeps your coffee warm for a while. Okay, and that is the storage of coffee. What you can do too, you can go down to the store if you like Maxwell House, Folgers, any of the other brands. The ones that are, are sealed in a metal tin, like a number 10 can, you can actually put those away just like they are because they're sealed. The ones in plastic, please repackage them some kind of way or put your packages, uh, your plastic uh, packages in a five gallon uh, bucket because over time the plastic will leach a little bit. It's probably good for, for storage after a while. Even if you don't store it or use it for several years, I would think that stale coffee is better than no coffee. With that said, uh, Merry Christmas, oh, not Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's to everybody. And this is Technician 775 saying thank you very much. Please subscribe if you like what we're doing. Thank you.